Sometimes the beauty of the planets just grabs you and you won't put you down. One of the first things a new astronomer usually wants to look at through their new telescope is one of the planets. Each planet offers something unique and different to observe. The cloud bands on Jupiter, the rings of Saturn, or the surface detail on Mars are just a few of the more popular planetary features to enjoy with your telescope. If you have a love of observing Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and the rest, and you're looking for the best telescope for viewing the planets in all their splendid detailed finery, then this is the perfect video for you. You see, when deciding what telescope to buy to see the planets, you need a model particularly dedicated to the task. A telescope that has special features, making it ideally suited for observing the planets. Here are the five telescopes to view the planets. The first telescope is Celestron 21037 Power Seeker 70 EQ. This telescope is best suited for people who are very tight budget. It can also be used by beginners or by your child who wants to see planets with a telescope. This is a refractor type telescope. This telescope has a mount with slow motion controls. Its focal length is 700 millimeters and aperture is 70 millimeters. With a 5 millimeter eyepiece, it can magnify 140 times. You'll certainly get some good looks with the kind of magnification, but it's mostly used magnification is up to 98 times with 7 millimeter eyepiece. Pros of this telescope. You can see the planets at a low price. This one is a tried and tested telescope. It's very easy to set up, slow focal length. Cons of this telescope. It doesn't have a aprochromatic lens, which means it doesn't have a better correction of chromatic and spherical aberration. Its eyepiece are a bit low quality. The mount quality is poor. Overall, this telescope is ideal for those wanting a cheap telescope to see planets or for children wanting their first taste of seeing planets through a telescope. Our second telescope is Orion Astroview 90mm Refractor. This telescope is best suited for people who are beginners and want a quality view of a planet but are on a very tight budget. This is also a refractor type telescope. This telescope has a alt azimuth mount with slow motion controls. Its focal length is 660mm and aperture is 90mm, which makes its focal ratio 7.3. With a 4mm eyepiece, it can magnify 180 times. You'll certainly get a better look with this kind of magnification than the previous telescope, but its mostly useful magnification is up to 126 times with 5mm eyepiece. Pros of this telescope is a wide aperture for the price. It is very easy to set up. It is very easy to transport. Cons of this telescope, it has a little faster focal length. Its eyepiece are a bit low quality. Overall, the telescope is ideal for beginners who want a better quality and want to see the planets with a limited budget. Our third telescope is Celestron Nexstar 4SE Maksutov Cassie Grain. This telescope is best suited for people who are serious planet hunters. This is a Maksutov Cassie Grain type telescope. Now, this telescope has a motorized go to tracking mount with slow motion controls. Its focal length is 1325mm and aperture is 102mm, which makes its focal ratio 13. With a 6mm eyepiece, it can magnify 204 times, but its likely useful magnification is up to 241 times with a 5mm eyepiece. Pros of this telescope It has quality lenses, it has a very slow focal length, it has 40,000 object database. Cons of this telescope It needs a dew shield. It takes a long time to cool down, its batteries are very expensive. Overall, this telescope is ideal for people who are serious about planet hunting. Our fourth telescope is Skywatcher Pro ED 100mm Doublet APO Refractor. This telescope is best suited for people who are very serious about planet hunting. This is a refractor type telescope. Its focal length is 900mm and aperture is 100mm, which makes its focal ratio 9. Its maximum magnification is 200 times the 4mm. It has a very high quality lens, which gives a superb result at full magnification. So this telescope is useful at its full magnification capacity, unlike previous telescopes. Pros of this telescope. It has apochromatic glass, which means it has a better correction of chromatic and spherical aberration. It has a slow focal ratio. Its lens has a wide aperture. Cons of this telescope. It has no mount. It only has scope. Quality lenses cost a lot of money, so a bit expensive. Overall, this telescope is ideal for people who are very serious about planet hunting. Our fifth and final telescope is the Mead Alex 200 ACF Schmidt Cassie Grain. This telescope is best suited for people whose budget is not an issue and prefer high quality. This is a Schmidt Cassie Grain type telescope. This telescope has motorized alt azimuth mount. Its focal length is 2000 millimeters and aperture is 203 millimeters, which makes its focal ratio 10. Its maximum magnification is 333 times with six millimeters. Pros of this telescope, it has a huge aperture and focal length. It has high quality coma free optics. It has massive magnification of planets. You're only limited to atmospheric quality. Cons of this telescope. This telescope is very expensive. 
Overall, this telescope is ideal when money is not your primary consideration, but high quality and high magnification of the planets is. So, these were some of the telescopes which are better for viewing planets. I hope this video helped you to understand some basics of the telescopes and will help you to make a better buying decision. If it did, then give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more technology related content. If you want to review any other telescope you have in your mind, then please let us know in the comments below. See you in the next video. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.